putting on his patented smile, getting into the zone. His mm. opponent is locked in, and they're going to Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh, they're backtracking. Maybe doing something. They're making some controls. Yeah. I saw this, like, little compilation of, like, Elegant before he starts a set. He's, like, he, like, shakes up. Like, he's, like... Yo, he's got to get his muscles loose for, yeah. the, for the matching of the down B. You got to, you know, get the get loose. Uh, the, you can't do static stretching anymore to get going nowadays. The new exercise science, you got to be, like, you know, calisthenics, like, active, active stretching. It helps. That's the Elegant shake right there. It helps, man. It really does. Uh, <laughs> deep breathe. I mean, we fit trainers. She's, everything she tells you in-game is right. stuff that you should actually be doing. Right. <laughs> People are like, yo, when you coach people, what do you do? I, say, I just quote Wii Fit Trainer, no big deal. Yeah, I just do what she tells me <laughs> so to do. Salute the sun, that's, uh, you know, the every, best coaching advice every I've ever got. <laughs> every day. I mean, my vision's awful now, but hey, you know. He got a Zelda on the screen. And, he did it. Uh, yeah, he, he did it. Getting in the zone, getting locked in. The murder face is on. Pona got a little bit of a lap, but Snoop Cat, here we go. You know, I got to say, though, like, I like how Elegant does that for every. He doesn't underestimate anybody. Right. He, like, he's trying hard against everybody. Yeah, he's like, you know, game on, and uh, he's going to need it. He's already falling behind. Oh, no, here we go. Here's the blender. <laughs> and, oh, he misses the up special, though. <laughs> I was going to say, like, what, are you, what were you saying earlier? Yeah, it's like, uh, I got to say, Snoop Cat building a comfortable lead until he got grabbed. But, you know, fortunate to survive, and Elegant not getting the follow up on the up special. So, we got an even match. Coming into the late stock. All things considered, though, I mean, Elegant may or may not be very uh, familiar with this matchup, mm -hmm. or at least when it comes to you know this version of Zelda. Yeah, not a many, not a many Zelda in the SoCal area for sure. No, no, I, I, I wouldn't say so. Or and, in the world in general, I guess. Uh, and then like good ones are hard to come across right. too. Got to go to Vegas for that. Uh, last time I checked. Oh, Go play yeah. some blackjack and play some, uh, you know, some uh, van last time I saw. I think I'd rather lose a hundred dollars <laughs> in blackjack than play against a good. Yeah, Zelda. speaking of losing hundred dollars in blackjack, uh, it looks a little busted right there. Forward smash coming out from Snoop Cat, and he's actually got the lead on Elegant. Yeah, he does. He just has to keep himself out of uh, harm's way. That and was, a lightning kick doing a billion damage. That was nice. Very well done. Ah, but then he jumped on top of Luigi. Yeah, a little you aggressive. Don't do that. A little aggressive. That up smash is still very prominent, and the trouble that Snoop Cat has is he's in that grab range. But you can see him playing anti-grab. You see the Nehru's love coming out yep. to really stuff any of those grab attempts. Yeah, I'm actually really interested to see how that's going to interact. Because it's just like the grab, if it doesn't become a grab, it becomes an item or, yeah. or a projectile. Oh, oh, we live in. We live in for sure. Yeah, he wanted to get, he didn't get the sweet spot of that last down air. Otherwise, they're in super trouble for Snoop Cat. Yeah, that would have sucked. Oh, my god, dude. You, you have to practice that to be able to get that because that's so risky to do. OK. Right. And, you know, Snoop Cat, all things were going really well, but Elegant clutching out some really big punishes, and he's in the driver's seat. Yeah, and that uh, teleport recovery. It, thank God it has a hitbox on it, though. Yeah, and Snoopcat almost picked up a big forward smash, but Cyclone barely beating out. Oh, unfortunately, Air Dodge going to survive. Yeah, able to make it back up. Wow, that's insane. That was insane. probably intentional. Oh, tried to catch him sleeping, but he parried it. Yeah. Elegant's a madman. How do you sit there and just, like, know that he's going to try to sneak by the ledge? I'm going to parry it, no problem. God. I don't know if that was planned, because like, I, <laughs> I don't think anybody saw that one coming. He's like, he's going to do another up I know who saw it coming. I'll get it. A little pizza time and forward smash. And after a promising start for Snoop Cat, things just didn't go his way after that. He got a little bit of a smile. I was feeling it. He got that lightning kick with the forwarder to take the, you know, to start putting on some damage. But as soon as he jumped on Elegant when he did that up smash, yeah, things turned around very quickly. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that up smash is actually really strong. It's like... Mario's, if you've seen, it doesn't hit from the front, but uh -huh. Luigi's does. Huh? All right, we got that uh, self-proclaimed uh, Dakpo uh, jungle jank coming up. Okay, so I didn't know Elegant has a Diddy Kong, and I'm actually a huge friend of Diddy Kong. Uh -huh. uh, I know him personally, so this is actually something that I want to see. And uh, so far, it's not going so hot, but again, this is what we saw in the first game, too. Snoop Cat roaring out to an early lead, kind of has the beat on the neutral. Against uh, Elgin. Oh my God! Reading, uh, reading for an up air too. But of course, this is Elgin secondary going a little bit of Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong got some nice buffs in the last patch. Yeah, he can actually recover now. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Uh, I think uh, just general like his normals, like his tilt's got a little better. Like F tilt is a, a little more consistent. Right. Down tilt and up smash. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. huge. Some that's pickups. Mm -hmm. Some Smash Four classics. And of course, he always had in the uh, looming in the shadows the. You know, the the jungle jank, as Dakpo would say. The, the, jungle, the jungle jank, I like that. I don't know. I, I saw Cantrip had a different name for it, but I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. 
It's probably not as good as Jungle Jank. Uh, like it, prob it was pretty good, too. His, his was also very good. I just can't remember what he was calling it. <laughs> All right. Oh, that downer, though. Okay, just immediately getting caught. Like, eh, eh. Elegant just doesn't care. Oh, was that a, was that a Nair attempt? I, I don't know what I just saw. It was something, and he's, but he's got a banana in hand. This is where Denny Kong thrives. Oh, but Nairu's left. Good option. Every time. Yeah. It's like, that was a really good up tilt. That was a really good up tilt. Uh, that anti air just able to catch him. Ah, oh, banana into down smash. Okay, okay. Yeah, here we go. Got an up, up, uh, up smash. Banana up smash. Tried and true since 2008. <laughs> oh, actually, in 2008, they're probably doing forward smash or down smash. But I would know. I, I would not know. <laughs> I did not play Brawl. Shout outs to the GNS ADHD team. So. He's got oh. the pink Diddy Kong on, so it's ADHD. Right? Yo, that, was, yo that, da that back air and the dash attack is kind of cool. Putting on a lot of pressure, and it's a virtually even match. Yeah, if you picked up the banana, you're gonna probably see a monkey going in for a dare, but didn't quite go for it. I'm starting to see just the versatility of that up tilt. It, it's really big for Zelda. Oh, that's a that's not, not quite not enough to kill, but good up special out of shield. Uh, Ferrari's win. Mm. Oh, oh, the foot still. I thought we were gonna see the up smash or the up air from uh, Sweet Cat. That's a death. Yeah, unfortunately. I, I, did he try to Nairus love the banana? I don't know. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, it will like, change the ownership of it. It's just the risk reward in that scenario. Sometimes it's better just to clear out and just, you know, yeah, let it go. Yeah, it's got too much end lag for you to just be kind of like willy nilly. Oh, right. it might work. Like, it's a good interrupt option. It's like an almost stationary dragon punch, right? He just used down B. Did you see that? He used the dark nut of down B to, like, stop the banana. I, oh, it's a, it's a giant meat shield, man. <laughs> but, like, like the dark nut just, like, stomped on it oh. and it just, like, disappeared. I want to see that again. Yeah, I'll have to go back and take a look at that. Yeah, that was. I want to see that again. Okay, good stuff. Good. Okay, up air or up tilt into Nair. Yeah, and you can tell that uh, Elgin doesn't have a complete handle on some of the the nuances of the character. Like there, there seems to be like a little bit of weird usage of uh, Nair that's not really netting him a good reward like it should for the move. <gasps> oh, oh, speaking questionable. of which, uh, it's not death. I don't know what he was going for, but that was not a good for his. When that was like. A waste of magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. Okay, got another banana. There's like a little reverse bottle adventure going on right there, and Furry's went out of the temple I, for no he, reason. I was just about to say he was baiting that out the whole time. Yeah, he was baiting that out the whole time. He's like, as soon as I, as soon as I pull the banana out, I already am in your head. Right. I already know what you're thinking about. And that's like, you know, that's one of the mar the marquee mo things 